Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to leave the truck stop where we stayed at last night. Here we go. Looks like it's quite cloudy this morning. But other than that, it looks like it's going to be a good Monday morning. They sure don't have this truck stop design really like to have the ones there on I-80. Where you can fit a lot of trucks into that. But I don't know how you could sleep like this, like downhill. I don't know how you could even sleep like that. I could, I could never sleep really good like that. You know, like when you uh, downhill, facing downhill. I can never really sleep like that. I don't know how guys can do it. But whatever. Here we are, back on it again. Uh, 1600. No, 1600. We got 616 miles to go. That's right. It's going to be uh, three days worth of hard working days. Today is the last day, I think, because tomorrow we only deliver at 10 a.m. in the morning. So I don't really have to go all the way to the customer, but uh, if you guys have ever been out in uh, Massachusetts or Pennsylvania or New York area on the full highways, there really is not that much parking available in the areas, you know. <coughs> They do have quite a few rest areas, but they are all very small rest areas. So, uh, if you don't get there by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, then they're full, you know. So, uh, but I much rather prefer if I can go to the customer up there in those areas. I much rather just go straight up to the customer park there overnight I'm ready for them there tomorrow morning I don't have to worry about nothing I'm there and they do allow me to park there so it don't matter you just park right there and go in there just before 10 o'clock and check in I suppose so I can sleep in tomorrow morning I don't have to worry worry about getting up early <clears throat> or drive a long day yet, you know. We'll see what kind of reload we will get for tomorrow. So far, I don't have a reload yet, but uh, I'm sure by the end of today, I'll have something. Today is Monday, so today they have time to uh, to look for a load for me. Because on the weekend, they're usually not there, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this, they uh, worked on this highway last year. I remember when I come down here last year, this road was under construction and look at the smoothness of that highway now, you know. Beautiful. Not like uh, up there on the Ohio Toll Highway there. Holy mackerel yesterday, that was, that was crazy. You know, like, oh my goodness sakes alive. I guess I'm gonna have to step on the brakes here because uh, I don't want to have that truck go on the shoulder. I want to be nice to him. And there we go. You know, that truck on the on the road too. I didn't have to uh, force him off to the shoulder, you know. So he has to lose speed. 
great. I mean, I had to lose some speed, but uh, I might try to lose a bit of speed and let him in there instead of forcing him on the shoulder and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, having him to step on the brake. And, or causing an accident, worse yet, you know, or causing an accident. That's the last thing I need. I'd much rather be a nice guy and slow down a few seconds and move over and hey, we're right back at it, you know? That didn't take long, did it? Not at all. We'll still get to where we need to be at the end of the day. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I just wish a lot more people would do that. But everybody seems to be in a hurry these days. They have no patience. I want to go, 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 I don't care about you, you know, that's the way their attitude is these days. But enough of that, here he goes, now he's up to speed, now he can go, he goes faster than me. But that's okay. He probably doesn't need to pay for the fuel, I do. But anyways, let's enjoy our beautiful day today. Let's see what we can all show you today. We should have some beautiful scenery since we are going up there in a uh, little hilly area so uh, we'll keep you guys uh, up on what's going on and uh, show you whatever we can well guys we are coming into Buffalo New York area that's right we are already gone through Pennsylvania that's only a small stretch here on I-90 uh, I I so we managed to get through there and no problem. Here we are in New York, Buffalo. So we'll be starting to go towards east right about now. Continue on this road for 272 miles. And then we'll make our way slowly towards Massachusetts. That's right. We got a toll booth coming up here in about three quarters of a mile. Got to pay a toll to drive on this highway. That's right. Nothing is for free, they say anymore. Used to be things used to be for free, but not anymore. Not anymore. Nowadays, you gotta even pay to drive on a highway, even though you pay fuel taxes. They want you to pay to drive on the highway. Which I wouldn't have a problem with if the highways were good, you know, if the road was good, but some of these roads, my lord, they were bad there, especially there yesterday in Ohio, man, holy smokes. But anyways, whatever. Look at this four-wheeler up here, just to get ahead of me. You know, I mean, look look the way he's driving through that toll booth there, you know? Like, come on. That's what I was talking about earlier. Everybody just cutting everybody off and in a hurry all the time and get no patience. Oh well. That's what they say. That's the way some people are. You just gotta go, go, go. <laughs> but I think there should be a rest area coming up here pretty soon. And I think we're gonna go stop in there. Hopefully they have a Tim Hortons in there. I know some rest areas up here they have Tim Hortons in there and I wouldn't mind going in there and grab me a Tim Hortons cup of coffee. I'm thirsty for a cup of coffee today. I don't know why but I just feel like having a Timmy's. That's right. But here we go. We got our toll paid and we're gonna put the hammer down and Make our way over to the beautiful areas up there. We got some beautiful areas up there uh, towards Massachusetts and stuff like that. It's kind of like in Pennsylvania, like, like I did this last trip, you know. It's gorgeous up there, you know. There we go, 65 mile an hour, so we can speed up a little bit. I'm actually setting my cruise at uh, 62 miles an hour now lately, the couple of last two days. Yeah, get a few more miles in the day, you know, these are long stretches so that we can do it a little bit easier in our 11 hour period, you know. Anyways, let's see, I see a sign coming up there, 
let's see if that's for a rest area or not I know there's quite a few rest areas up here that sounds like an airplane I know the airport is just to the right up here I heard some kind of rumbling noise and almost sound like an airplane had been taken off over here or landing one or the other you could hear some kind of rumbling noise I'm like what is that what is that you know like, oh yeah that's where the airport is <laughs> Yep, I didn't see nothing though. I guess they were in the clouds somewhere. But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, let's make the best of today what we can do. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we just had ourselves a shower. We are here at the uh, Flying J and uh, we're going to go inside and grab us a bite to eat. Are you guys ready? Here we go. We are having some steak and eggs. I already uh, mixed up my uh, <clears throat> eggs with the hash browns. I like to mix them up like that. So uh, we're gonna have a good breakfast. In 600 feet, slide right on I 90 East. Here we go. We have had our break up here at the Flying J. Had a shower, as you guys saw. And we had a. Uh, Breakfast done. So now we are ready to go. He had 405 miles to go. To our delivery place. That should be doable. And it should be there tonight. If nothing goes wrong. That's right. I was looking at the radar when I was inside there to have breakfast there and it looks like uh, good thing I went past Cleveland there last night because uh, it's looking like they were getting some of the rain and nice snow mixture or whatever. So good thing I went past it. I know there was even supposed to be some mixture of snow and ice rain up here just south of I-90 and I was looking at the radar but uh, from what I could see none of it was supposed to hit the 90 here so uh, we should be okay that's right and now we're back on 90 putting the hammer down so let's get on down the road and all right guys and gals, we have had a made, we made ourselves another pit stop, that's right, now it is starting to get dark and I was seeing some light flurries coming and that's what I was looking on the radar earlier, that there is some snow up there in Massachusetts right now. Yeah. What? We got 175 miles to go. So I guess uh, yeah, about three hours. We should be at our uh, delivery place. It's four o'clock in the afternoon Central Standard Time right now. So uh, that means about seven o'clock. We should be at our delivery place tonight. So well, that's 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So that means we have 12 hours till we can deliver our load. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, but we got some light, very light flurries in the air. That's right. But hopefully that won't be too much of an issue when we go further east. Because we want to get to our delivery place tonight. That is our goal. Right. So we're gonna do everything possible that we can do to get there on time. Well, on time, but we don't have to deliver till tomorrow, right? But uh, we want to get there today. That's the plan, anyways. Yeah. So let's see what uh, what it looks like up here. We do have some uh, hills up here now already, but 
but uh, I think by the time we get down to where we'll actually be able to see some nice hills, it's probably going to be dark because it's almost dark already. So you might not be able to see any of them hills, you know. I was kind of hoping I'd get to show you some good sceneries today, but uh, yeah, that may not be happening too much, but uh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we should be driving back this way since we already do have a reload won't be on this exact same highway probably but uh, we got us a reload out of Hazleton Pennsylvania right now that reminds me of trucker 316 I might give him a shout tomorrow and uh, see whereabouts he's hanging out just maybe just maybe he's around home or something like that you never know, we might be able to meet up with him if he wants and if he can. But you never know. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, just give her. But it's been a good day for me though. I know it's been cloudy all day long, but uh, it's been a good day worth the driving though. I already got. Uh, 682 kilometers in right now so I mean we did have uh, two stops now two half an hour breaks while the one this one was half an hour the other one uh, I think was about an hour and three quarters or something like that stop that we had up there earlier uh, we did have a shower and all that good stuff so I figured well since I'm going to uh, my delivery place for tonight May as well uh, have me a bite to eat here and have me a shower earlier. So that way we're a little bit refreshed when we get to our customer. That's right. I'm kind of hoping though that my load will be ready tomorrow for pickup because uh, it says in a load offer it's going to be ready the day after at 8 in the morning. But uh, sometimes on those places I get lucky, you know, the load is ready a little bit early. But we'll see. If not, that's okay too, I guess. We'll still give us 300, I think it was 308 miles, something like that, as I was looking on the GPS earlier, from uh, Clinton to Hazleton, Pennsylvania. So that will uh, give me about five and a half hours worth of driving, probably. It should be all right. Well, guys, look at here. We have made it to our final destination. And look at all the snow they got up here. And it is still snowing. I don't know how good you are seeing it, but uh, it is still snowing. I know I'm out here in a in a t-shirt or whatever or a shirt, but it's not really that cold. But they do have quite a bit of snow, and as you can see, it's snowing. That's where we got some trailers up there, and I used to park like right in there, but because they got all the snow up here, and they got a sign up there saying something about private property or whatever, so I. Figured, you know what, instead of parking on that side over there, I think I'm just going to park right here, right along this snow bank right here. I'm kind of out of the way of everybody. You know, the docks are right over there, so I'm not really blocking anybody. So uh, we should be all right. Just uh, staying in here and just did a walk around on the truck, make sure everything is good and everything is looking good so far. So I think we're going to call it a night. And we're going to go get back in the truck, edit these videos up for you guys. And my challenge for tomorrow is to see if we can get out of here with an empty trailer. I am going to go check on the weather and see what it's supposed to be like for tomorrow. I'm really hoping that tomorrow it won't be like this because uh, with an empty wagon like this uh, behind me, that is going to be difficult tomorrow to be driving on this kind of condition. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see where we can get tomorrow. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching today's vlog. Stick around for tomorrow and see what happens with my empty trailer and see if the weather will have improved. So give it a good thumbs up for my good effort for putting the show together for you. And if you like this video, please hit that share button down there below 
And if you are new to our channel, you know what? There's a subscribe button down there. Just giving you a secret. You know, hit that subscribe button. And we would love to have you on board. By hitting that subscribe button, you'll be notified by email. Also, if you use the app, there will be a little uh, bell right there in the, in the top there. And hit that button, and you will be notified instantly when I upload a video. Isn't that cool or what? Anyways, that's all for today. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, everybody. behind me that day is gonna come